All right, let's do some address and write a type safe printf function. So let's learn what printf does by using some Haskell. Uh, so printf test will print out test. Uh, if we put in a placeholder, so percentage d and pass in a uh, integer, then it gets a then the format string. So the string that we pass in uh, gets formatted by by the arguments that we pass. <coughs> so percentage just means that we're going to take a string, so we can pass in the string test. Uh, and then that gets interpolated into that string. So what happens if we uh, pass in uh, a value of the wrong type? It throws an exception. What if we pass in too many uh, arguments? It throws an exception. What if we don't pass in enough arguments? It throws an exception. So the idea is that Haskell throws an exception uh, because it doesn't know enough about the input type, uh, the input value, the input format string. Uh, theoretically, Haskell could have like a validation type. It could return maybe, or it could return either, or it could return some sort of validation type, um, and then you'd have to handle that yourself. Uh, Idris is a dependently type language, though, so we can have a value that determines the type, and we don't have to do any error handling because we know it's correct uh, uh, by inspecting the value uh, at compile time. So let's write some Idris and write a type safe printf function. Uh, we'll, add, we'll add a pragmarine called default, and this means that we'll be totaled by default, which means Idris will have a totality checker, ensuring that we pattern match over everything in a ADT, and also uh, that our programs or our functions uh, terminate, or at least are productive, uh, meaning that they do something, uh, and they don't get in an infinite loop. So we'll make this format, uh, uh, we'll actually, we'll treat this as an AST for our format string. So we'll say that if you get a percentage D, then that will be an f int case, and we'll recurse. We'll have a recursive data type saying that you know we've got a percentage d, and now we need to have the rest of the format string. So f string. So that's will be percentage s. I'll leave little comments up here. So percentage d and percentage s. We'll have f other, meaning that we've got some other character, so none of the above. So that'll be like a through to z or something like that. Or eventually we get to the end and that'll just be nothing. So we get a percentage D, we get a percentage S, some other characters, and then we'll end. So let's uh, go from a list of characters into this format to other type. We'll, pa we'll parse this list of characters. So if, if we have a percentage D, so we'll just recurse, we'll return back an F int, so we've parsed, it, parsed percentage D into an F int, and we'll recurse. If we get a percentage S and the rest of characters, then we'll do something very similar. We get some other character, so this will be the A to Z, uh, uh, the F other thing that we've we've described above. Then we remember what the character is, and we'll recurse. Eventually, we'll get to the end of the string, and that'll just be the end ADT. Um, so now we've got this format. Let's convert a format into a type. So. Idris is interesting in that we can have values depend, uh, create types, or values determine types. So given a format uh, AST that we have above, uh, let's, cr let's, let's determine what type it should be. So uh, printf given some sort of uh, percentage D, then it should actually be a function from int to the rest. So if we've got a percentage D, then we say it's an int to uh, uh, depending on the rest of the format string. So f string will be a string. So if we give a percentage s, then it's a string. If we give percentage i, or uh, percentage d, it's an int. Uh, and uh, we need to get the rest of it. Uh, so if we find some other character, well, we don't actually, it doesn't actually create a function type, it's just depending on the rest of the characters in that format string. Uh, since we don't actually use the C here, we, like we don't actually care about what character it is, we'll just leave an underscore in to say that we don't care. 
Then she will get to the end, and the result uh, type should be a string. So it it'll be a uh, so if we give it like percentage, if we give it uh, if we give uh, percentage d as our format string, and then uh, a b c, the type should be int to string. So let's make a format string function, which will take a string and then convert, create a format for us. So uh, strings are not just lists of characters in Idris, unlike Haskell. Uh, they're an independent type, but we can unpack a string into a list of characters. Uh, and then we can convert it into a format. So let's give this a try in the REPL. So we'll load this up, and now we can say format string of percentage D, percentage S. We'll put hello in the middle. Well, that creates some some sort of um, AST for us. Um, but now, what if we were to ask to uh, uh, interpret that? Uh, here we go. That's a little bit clearer. Um, so, what if we were to interpret that into a type? So, a format string into a type. So, the percentage D says that it's an int to something. It's an int to something. The percentage um, s means that it's a string to something, and in the end we result in a string. So looks like that's working. We can create a type based on this format string. Now what we want to do is create a function as well. We want to actually make a value of this type. Uh, it's cool that we can get the type out, but what if we, uh, we to make the printf actually work? We need to create a function of this type. So given some sort of format. So here we're saying a value of format called format, FMT. Uh, we should be able to get back a, uh, sorry, we should be able to get a, uh, back a string, So because uh, uh, we're going to make this a recursive function, we need to have an accumulator. So a string to a value of the type of uh, interpreting that format uh, into a type. So value of interpreting that format. So given a uh, given the f in case, then we know that's going to be a function from. We know it's going to be int to something. So let's make a f lambda. So this this is lambda syntax in Idris. So backslash i. So we're accepting an i, which will be an int. <coughs> uh, it needs to be, so the question marks there were actually because it's recursive. So it's going to be recursive. And then A, we need to add on the int that we get. So we'll just show it, add it onto the accumulator. So this is going to be very similar for string. Except we don't need to show it because we already have a string. We don't need to convert it into a string. Given some other character. Well, this, this doesn't need to be a uh, string, this needs to be just a recursive call. But we do need to update the uh, the accumulator by adding the character on. A uh, singleton is a function in the address which will take a character and turn it into a string. And when we get to the end, then we can just return the accumulator. Awesome. So, printf we can write now. Uh, and that will take a string, so this will take the format string, and it will take give back a value of the uh, of co of interpreting that uh, format into a type. Uh, so it will give back a value uh, dependent on on uh, the format string. So format string will uh, parse a string into the format for us. Uh, we can parse it into into format. And now printf takes that string and just converts it into a function for us. And the accumulator that we need to pass in is just the empty string. We don't have anything, uh, you know, it'll build up by appending to that string. So we can just pass in the empty string uh, as the initial uh, state. So we've used the string to create a type we've passed the, type, uh, the string into a format ASD and then we've interpreted that format ASD into a type uh, and then we've 
uh, use that, that the same string at the value level to create a function that inhabits that type. So this should be type safe. Uh, let me load this up. So now we have a type safe printf by uh, if we give it this, if we give it a value, let's just let's just, just start off with the easy one. So given test, so it doesn't see any percentage signs, doesn't see any placeholders, so it knows that the type uh, will be string. So we can follow that through by just seeing here if it doesn't see any percentage signs. Eventually it parses as just something that gets to it'll just be an f others. It'll just be a, a recursive um, f other uh, data structure with an end at the end. And then when we interpret that, it'll just keep recursively interpreting that into a final value of a string. And the function, will, the two function, does something very similar. Uh, if we put in a percentage d, now we've inserted an f int into our AST. So we know it's going to be an int to something. Now that something will obviously just be an f, f and in the end, so it'll just be an int to string. So we can see here that Idris uh, is able to print what the string actually represents. Uh, but the interesting thing is that the type is int to string. So let's give it an int. And now we, we can see it can work. Uh, now if we give it percentage s, we can see that it won't compile. Or if we give it percentage d and try and give it a string, it'll say it can't convert a string into an int, so they don't work. Um, we can't pass in too many arguments because uh, it's, it's not a function. It's saying here that it's not a function. Um, it does not have a function type. Um, and if we don't give it enough uh, arguments, it just, I mean, it just won't uh, throw an exception or anything because it will just verify that you never use it in a real program uh, without enough arguments. So I think this is really interesting. We've been able to write a type safe print F uh, without the use of macros. We've been able to just use uh, uh, what some people in dependently typed, uh, some, some users of dependently depend depend typed languages call uh, metaprogramming, but based on values. Uh, so uh, some people say that dependently typed languages don't really need macros because we're able to do depend, uh, we were able to use metaprogramming uh, just by depending on values, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, I think this is a real motivation for uh, what dependent types are kind of about. Uh, we can uh, make things type safe by uh, depending on values. Printf is a really good example here because uh, the type depends on the format string. Um, and I think this might have provided a little bit of motivation to learn Idris. Uh, Idris is a very practical form of dependently typed languages. Um, it can compile down to JavaScript or it can compile down to Java or C. Um, so you could actually use this for real things. Um, it may not be the most stable uh, thing to rely on at the moment, uh, but it's not really nice to play with. It uh, offers uh, a really powerful type system, something much more powerful than Haskell. And I think it's something that you should definitely look into.